Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today is episode 29 of your NHL 22 franchise mode. Here with the Edmonton Oilers as we're walking into the second round of playoff action as we are going to be heading up against the Ducks. Once again, this is going to be a little bit of a rematch from last year. They defeated us in a fashion that I was not, I didn't enjoy. I really didn't enjoy, so we went all in. And uh, this year, I, I hope that we could do it because the first round was not very good. It really wasn't. But before I get into that, I'd like to just say if you are new to the channel, make sure to stop that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. That'll be very much appreciated, boys. So let's get into this bad boy here with the others. As you guys all know, we kind of had a rough series against the Dallas Stars. Um, it wasn't very nice. We were up 3 0 in the series, we were dominating. And then all of a sudden, we just started losing traction. We lost a game, and then we lost two in a row. And then we almost even lost game seven. Thankfully, we were able to finish it off and able to actually win. Uh, and uh, I, I was not very happy. So I made a few lineup changes personally myself. Uh, the third line we got now, Eberle, will be playing alongside of uh, Don Skoy and Scott Lawton. So I think that's what we might be doing. I was thinking maybe we could try something else as well, but we don't got another extra center. I mean, we could just take Eberly off, and we could throw somebody else up on here. We don't have, like, who do we have as scratch? We got Noel and Graham Clark. Do we have any guys that we could potentially, like, call up to? I mean, you got Damien Giroux, but he's not that great defensively. Harkins you could potentially bring in. He's a center. That might not be a bad idea. Didn't we play Grigor before? No, maybe, maybe I'm imagining... No, he only really played for the Sharks there, but that was in the AHL. Didn't play too much in the NHL. We got Slava Koskin and also uh, Paul Cutter, but we don't really got any like depth depth guys that we could really bring into the squad that I think uh, would really help out this team better than what we got right now. So, honestly, I think if we keep it the way that it is, um, and we go with the flow. Uh, hopefully, we can beat up the Anaheim Ducks. This is going to be a very tough team to go up against, we all know. Uh, we faced them last year, I'm pretty sure. So we're we're not going up against an easy team without a doubt. This is a team that is physical, that are tough, they're deep. And yeah, we did go up against them last year and we unfortunately lost. We don't want to lose in the second round again. This would be the third year in a row if we lost in the second round again. So they got Hurdle, they got Zegris, and they got Raquel, a very, very strong top line. And then we got Adam Ernie. Sam Steele and Yanni Gord. Then you got Zach Hyman, Mason McTavish, and Ludashram. That's why we kind of threw a better defensive guy, especially with Lawton. Um, Lawton and uh, what's his face? Uh, Donsko against this line because we know that they're going to pack a bit of an offensive punch, but they're also going to play very well defensively. And then you got Highlander, Belsers, and Jones as well for that fourth line. Defensively, you got Passa, uh, Lumalia, Jamie Drysdale, Barry Lindholm, B Fowler, and Goulet. Very deep uh, defense court, and then Mr. John Gibson we're going to be going up against again. So, we all know what we got to go up against. We're going up against a very tough team in the Ducks. They didn't have a phenomenal season, but they did end the season off good. They're a tough playoff team. We all know that. We're going to have to go up against Zach Hyman once again, uh, which is definitely something I did not want to do. But, you know, it's a challenge indeed for us. So, hopefully we can uh, beat the Anaheim Ducks and get our revenge and head back off to the conference finals. That's what I want us to do. That's what we need to do. I mean, we can't keep wasting time on years where we're just going to keep on losing. So, boys, we need to play best. Like, this is needs to be a good series for us because last series was not very impressive. I was pissed off. I was not very happy about it. So, come on, boys. We need to play a lot better. So, game one in Rogers Place and Edmonton. And we need to start off, we need to get off to a hot start. Pure and simple, we need to get off to a hot start. If we don't, that that's just going to, it's going to piss me off. It really is. So let's go. First period, 2-1. to one. Raquel got the first goal of the game on that power play, but then Drysdale and Kaprizov fight right back to get two goals themselves. Nice job, boys. Second period, the game is tied up at 2 with Sam Steele scoring one with 34 seconds remaining to tie the game up at 2 as we head into the third period. We got to play way better. Leon Dreisaitl gets a big one for the Edmonton Oilers. As he's stepping up big time, he gets a big one. And then Mackenzie Weger gets a big goal for the Oilers. And then Trevor Zegers fights right back to get a goal for the Ducks. 4-3. to three. It is definitely a tight game between these two teams right now. 
If we could just shut her down and finish the game off here, that would be huge. And we do. 4-3 to three victory for the Edmonton Oilers as we beat the Anaheim Ducks. Dry settle getting two big goals himself. We, we were able to shut the game down. Mackenzie Weger with that game-winning goal as well. That was that one big goal that we needed, that extra insurance. Now, we've been giving up a decent amount of goals each of these games. I, I was thinking defensively we might change things up. I know Weger is playing really good alongside a nurse. But they haven't been phenomenal, so maybe we go back to kind of the original pairs. And we do uh, Bouchard up with Nurse. And then Weger along instead of Dimitri Zadorov. And I think we go something like that. Just give it a try. I mean, we got nothing to lose right now. We we got we to gotta tr start trying some different things. So we're, we're going to give that a try to see how that goes. And hopefully Saros can play massive here in Game 2. Back in Rogers' place once again for Game 2 on a back-to-back. This is uh, definitely not going to be an easy series for us, so we just got to play our, our best coming into game two. So let's go, boys. Oilers, Ducks, let's get her going. First period, 2 nothing. Ryan McLeod and Leon Dreisaitl with another goal on the power play. That's what I'm talking about, all right? Second period, 3-1. to one. Dreisaitl, Adam Ernie. Dreisaitl with his second goal of the night. Another multi-goal night for Leon Dreisaitl. We're winning 3-1, to 23-20. For shots before we head in, it headed into the third period. So we're just going to keep shutting things down. we got to play really good defensively. I'm kind of liking what the defensive parents are looking like. Especially with, you know, the you know reacquainted Nurse and Bouchard. So we'll have to see how well they play. But, oh, and then Ludestrom gets one big one for the Ducks to tie the game up at three. As we are heading to overtime between the Oilers and the Ducks. Definitely not what I wanted to see, but... I guess we're heading off to an overtime for game two, and let's get this going. All righty, boys. So here we go. Overtime between the Oilers and the Ducks. We uh, better get off to a hot start because that's what I really would like to see right now is for us to get off to a hot start. So, yeah, Dry Saddle is up on that top line still, or that's what they did. I think that's what we've been doing is having Dry Saddle up on the top line, if I'm correct. But they, they, they've been playing really well. So we got we got a lot of players that we can play right now. And I think uh, Drysdale and McDavid are the combination to go with. Especially with how rough of a first round we had. I kind of want to see them just keep going. And uh, especially since that top line has been such a beauty of a line between them. Between Holloway, McDavid, and Drysdale. Probably been easily one of our best lines we've ever had. Ever. <laughs> That we've ever built. We broke it up a little bit because just the amount of talent that we've been having to spread around a little bit. So, Hurdle, great chance, but a great defense play by Bouchard. Good turnover, dry cell. Send that one up. We're going to swap up to the second line here. as kind of a bad change, but we were able to still kick it up. Definitely not a phenomenal change by myself, but that's okay. I was trying to get, you know, quick little line change going. Go Kaprizov over to Bjorkstrand. Bjorkshank carrying it through the neutral zone, baby. He's looking around. Still gets hammered up alongside of the boards, but keeps going. Battling with Lumina. Zegris. Drysdale sends that one up to Raquel. Good stick, nurse. Good stick. Guys, play defense. Jesus. Second defensive pairing. Yeah, we'll keep out the second line there for a little bit. See what they can do. But, man, we definitely need... Uh, we need this win. I don't want to tie the series up with, at two with this or at one with this team. This is a, a very tough Anaheim Ducks team. We're going up against a very good team that killed us last year. So we got to be taking them very seriously. Kaprizov, what are you doing, buddy? You ran right into him, bro. Johnny Gord, good job here, boys. Get a handle of it. Send that one up. Everly, yeah, yeah, sure. Throw out that third line and see what they could do. Everly lost the handle of the puck, and Anna Marini throws it in the back of the fucking net. Damn it, man. That is just not what we wanted to see. Uh, oh, That was rough. Everly turned it over, wasn't able to take the hit, and then we just didn't do anything defensively and let Anna Marini walk right on in and take a beautiful shot to uh, bury the game, and now the series is tied up at one between the Ducks and the Oilers. So, uh... Definitely did not, not what I wanted to see is now we're going to be heading off to Honda Center in Anaheim and we definitely need a bounce back game here tonight, boys. We need a bounce back game here tonight. We cannot be taking this team fucking not serious. We need to be going all out, all force, just get a dub. Let's go. First period, one nothing. Big goal by Mackenzie Weger. The game is one nothing. 
Come on, boys. Second period. Three to one. There we go. Don Skoy gets a big goal hurdle, tied the game up, and then Don Skoy and Nuge gets big goals for the Oilers as we head in to the third period of action. Power play to begin us off. Zach Hyman gets a big goal for the Ducks to make it a one goal game. We gotta shut it down here, boys. We've been having some rough third periods. We gotta shut it down. Big kill on the power play. Good job, boys. Another power play we gotta kill off. A long one. Who took it? Whoever took that, man. You were oh you're a piece of crap whoever took that like seriously man what are you doing who took that penalty a slashy major for donskoy what the fuck donskoy like come on buddy what is wrong with this depth right now like why aren't we getting the performance that we want to get out of this this depth that we got going right now well that fourth line but ryan mcleod hasn't been doing too bad okay maybe we keep that kind of going then maybe we try a palat with uh lot and don Scoy. we do eberly because eberly's been kind of dwindling he hasn't been performing as much as i want him to be performing right now bouchard has been eating a lot of minutes alongside nurse garakovo and troy stetcher um yeah, man, we just need to step up. We were playing good. That was a big win by us once again, 2-1 to one in the series. Uh, we've been able to get four goals mo mostly almost every game, but for the one game that we lost. But we definitely got to play really well defensively coming into game four. We're up 2-1. to one. We got to shut down this team defensively. We got to play a really good game in front of Saros and cannot be taking stupid penalties like what we were doing in the last game we cannot be doing that we can't be putting ourselves in a situation where you know we can let the ducks walk right back in all right so great job on the pk but we gotta stop being in the penalty box so let's go first period two to nothing baby nuge and Connor mcdavid getting his first goal of the series that's what i'm talking about here boys second period two to one trevor zegris gets a big one for the ducks it's 26 15 for shots as john gibson just continues to shut the door but mcdavid gets a big one on gibson and a power play in Dylan Hall on the power or Dylan Hall away on the power play, baby. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Shut down that power play big time, boys. Big time, dude. We're playing really well this game. We are peppering shots. We're playing in the, the offensive zone. Another lengthy power play shorthanded goal by Holloway. And who took that major again? Someone took a fucking major penalty again. Who was that? Don Scoy took another penalty and Stetcher took two. Jesus Christ, boys. What is with the penalties? It's just like we decide that, oh, you know what? We're, we're winning. So let's just take a bunch of penalties into the end of the game. Like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You lost more out because you were in the penalty box half the game, Stetcher. Like, Jesus, guys. Don Scoy, stop being a moron and stay out of the box. It's simple as that. And Stetcher, like, what are you doing, buddy? Stay out of the box. Just simply as that. Stop being an idiot. Stop being lazy. All right. Game five. Yeah, right. G game five against the Ducks. Back in Edmonton and Rogers place. This is a big one. We're up three to one. We could finish it off here. Last series, we did not. So, boys, I'm looking you dead straight in the eyes. Don't fuck around. Seriously. Don't mess around with this team. Go out there with a killer attitude and finish this off. Don't be fucking playing around with them. Do not. Let's go here, boys. In Rogers Place and Edmonton, let's go. First period. Two to nothing. Adam Ernie gets two big goals for the Ducks. That's not the start that we wanted. Second period. Three to nothing for the Ducks as we're we're horrible, man. Come on. Power play. Big power play opportunity. Kill it off, though. We give up one. And then uh, we they kill it off. Dry cell gets a big one. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, we're within two. It's possible we get another. We got to get another quick one here, though. If we don't, then most likely it is not a, not a chance for us. Yeah, yeah, no chance for us. Jones gets a big one as now. Uh, we have to play it on a fucking. I hate this team, man. If you guys could just simply win a game, that's all I'm asking you to do. This team is so fucking frustrating to play with. Like, if you guys could just shut the door for one day, that's all I'm asking you to do. Shut it down. Stop fucking around. Play fucking hockey. Kaprizov, you're getting thrown up to the top line. I, I like the Holloway, but 
I kind of want Holloway to play alongside a Nuge and Bjorkstrand. We need to get that line going a bit. Nurse, I don't know what the fuck you're, what the hell you're on this year, but man, you need to step up a lot more for us right now, man. You're our big defenseman. Legit, you are our big defenseman who, you know, Kenny Holland handed you a big old contract. Step it up. Stop playing like a bunch of idiots. Game six, let's go. And where did my screen go? Well, I got it back. That was weird. It just totally blacked out on me. But anyways, it was like, Peyton, you're getting too upset. You're getting too upset. Game six in Anaheim. We need a win. We need a win. We need to finish it here, boys. Stop fucking around. Let's finish it here. Let's go. First period, three to two. That was a goal scoring fest. Goudreau gets the first one. Then Caprice, McLeod, and Nuge. And then Belser's makes it within close. So heading in. To the second period, 19 to 9 for shots. Come on, boys. Second period, 5 to 3. Dry side of Lawton and Engor makes it within two. All right, boys. We just got to simply shut it down here in the third period. That's all we got to do. Lindholm gets one. Dylan Holloway gets one back on the power play, baby. Holloway has been truly amazing this playoff run. He has been truly amazing. Just shut it down, boys. Soros makes some massive saves for us right now, buddy. And we're heading back to the conference finals, baby. Let's go. Finally, the Edmonton Oilers are going to be back in the conference finals. Finally. My lord, that was a struggle of a series where I was about to lose my mind if we lost that game. If we lost game six, I would have totally lost my mind. But... In all my honest opinion, this team is doing good, but we're just, we're, we're not looking like a Stanley Cup team right now. We really aren't, and we need to start changing things around. We're going to be having to go up against one of the other best teams in the Western Conference, one of the best teams in the league in the Colorado Avalanche, so it's definitely not going to be an easy series for us, but let's take a look at the whole overview uh, after this second round here. Um, of course... Uh, Dylan Holloway truly just keeps on producing and just keeps on being amazing. Dry Seidel, McDavid, Kaprizov, Nuge, uh, doing too bad. And this is a, the biggest problem is our depth scoring this year has just been nowhere. Um, that, that's, I think, the biggest storyline. Like, we're getting McLeod to produce, but Lawton's is nowhere to be found. Like, I just don't know what to do with the depth. The depth is just not there like they've been in past years where we really need them to be. Nurse has been a minus Uyghur. Our two big defensemen have been minus defensemen. It, it's kind of concerning for me. And Saros has been playing truly amazing. He's been stepping up big time. It's just we're not playing the way that we should be playing defensively. And uh, it's starting to tick me off. Um, I think maybe with the depth, uh, I think we're going to bump up Ryan McLeod, uh, quite honestly. Bump up Ryan McLeod, see if that, you know, maybe can give us something else. I don't know. Maybe we throw up Tuck with that. I mean, that's been a line that we've done before. It hasn't really worked out too well. So maybe we could do uh, Donskoy down here. It's a minus. Nah, we'll do... I think I could get Tuck going, though. Screw it. We're going to do... Uh, we're going to get rid of Eberly. Everly has just not been that guy. We're going to put out Sierran, uh, Sierran Newell out there. We just need that physical presence. I think he'll be that type of guy um, to go out there and maybe give us that little bit of juice that we need. Um, and so let's take a look at the Colorado Avalanche. Let's see what we're going to have to do in the conference finals. Let's see what we got to go up against. So Colorado, we got Gabriel Landeskog, Nate McKinnon, and Miko Rantanen. For that top line. And that is going to be a mighty tough top line. They do got Claude Giroux. Which in real life they uh, they were looking at chain for him. He's been playing there for a few years now. With the uh, Colorado Avalanche. He's alongside of Alex Newhook. And Martin Colt. Which is also an amazing second line. They got Tyson Jost. Jason Dickinson. And Alex Barboulette. And then they got Alex Bukage, Shane Bowers. And Drake Kajula. Which they are getting some depth scoring. A little bit more than us. Not too much, though. Um, defensively, they got Bone Brian. They got Cal McCarr. What a defensive pairing. Gerard, J uh, Josh Brook, and then Shillington and Isle Labushkin. Very, very good defensive core, especially that top pairing. And then they only got Darcy Kemper and Cam Talbot. So two goalies that are aging out. Definitely not amazing. Uh, so I think we could definitely take advantage of that. And they still got a pretty deep squad, even with a few people out of the lineup. So goddamn. 
Uh, well, not out of the lineup, just scratch. But so I, I think the biggest thing is that you know we can pepper Darcy Kemper without a doubt. It's just we definitely need to shut down the top guys and McKinnon, Kale McCarr, Rantanen. Those are going to be the tough guys to shut down. But I believe in this team. You know, I I have a you know a slight little disbelief because the team is not playing very well defensively, and we need to start playing very well defensively if we're going to want to win this series. So. We gotta, we gotta reel it in this next round, and we gotta start, you know, score more goals by our depth, and uh, we just need to see more contribution just from just about everyone, and we need a better play out of our depth coming into this next round. But for now, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Adios, amigos.